Hello everybody and welcome, my name is Mr. Seizing Today we're going with another Chelsea Cream Mold. This one's slightly different than the ones I normally make. Uh, this is actually the transfer window in, or well, the summer transfer window in between seasons 1 and 2. And uh, yeah, as you guys can see, I'm not playing any games in this episode. It's just going to be a lot of uh, post-commentary over top of uh, gameplay I did do. I actually did record normal face cam for this, but it, the video would have been about 30 minutes long for episode 28. And that's way too long for me. Nobody wants to watch a 30 minute video. Unless it's, you know, somebody famous. So, you know, I decided just to kind of really make it all fast-paced. And, uh, yeah, just do a post-commentary over it. As you guys can see on the screen now, we do have some of the players that we were looking into buying. Uh, quite a few attacking mids there. I was looking to replace Oscar, another player that I'm not too fond of at Chelsea. You know, I like Oscar, but he's not one of my favorite guys. So I was trying to replace him with somebody I liked a little bit more. Mario Goodsey would have been one of those players. He's one of my favorite players on Germany. He scored a wonderful girl. Goal. Girl. He scored a wonderful girl. I'm sure, he's, I'm sure he has a great girlfriend, but uh, yeah, he scored a wonderful goal in the World Cup final to win Germany the World Cup. And uh, Matt, another player, I just love him and Ozil are two of my favorite attacking mids in the, in the world. And uh, yeah, so I was looking into trying to bring those guys in as well. Sergio Ramos, Vincent Company, Jerome Boateng, Thiago Silva. I really wanted a new center back. I felt like if I was going to, I wanted to build a team that could win the Champions League this year. And so I put a lot of effort into trying to get a world-class center back that I could bring in that, uh, yeah, would, because I felt like a, a defensive, I was pretty weak defensively. Even though I had good defenders, I just, I'm not very good at defending, so I needed somebody that was just, you know, a step up from what I had, you know, somebody who, even though I'm not good at defending, could help me. Thiago still would have been one of those guys. Uh, Vertonghen was kind of on the way out, and then we actually attempt to sign Lionel Messi, which is, um... Yeah, yeah, I think he's pretty much impossible to sign on this game. I've tried, I've almost, I think I've actually offered him three million a week wages, and he didn't accept. So yeah, I think he's pretty much impossible to sign on uh, FIFA 15. Cristiano Ronaldo, this is a guy who he went down a lot in the first season. I think he must have had an injury at some point. He went down to a 90 from a 92. Most of the time he goes up. So he went down. Uh, Arjen Robin, another player that I'd like to bring back to Chelsea. He actually played at Chelsea a long time ago. Uh, well, I guess it wasn't too long ago, but it was it was quite a few years back. And uh, yeah, so we do actually get rid of, uh, or well, we don't drop Andre Sherla, but we do leave the offer from Bayern Leverkusen for Andre Sherla because I didn't know that he actually left Chelsea for VFL V is a VFL Wolfsburg. Uh, when I did record this episode, so I did want to keep him at the team, but I probably will drop him in the next transfer window because, uh, yeah, I just, I kind of, you know, I, I love Andre Sherla. And he, another thing that I was really surprised with is that Quadrado went to Chelsea. Yeah, I actually did, I, you know, I pre recorded a video, so I uploaded it before the rumors even started of Quadrado going to Chelsea. So I'm just going to say right now that I was, I was pretty good on that one. You guys heard it here first. From Mr. Steezy himself. <laughs> but yeah, I think that was pretty awesome that Quadrado signed for Chelsea. But we do pursue to continue to try and sign. I think it's Ronaldo there uh, offering some money with uh, Diego Costa. Uh, Diego Costa, a player that I'm not too fond of in real life or in game. He does, He's kind of, he kind of feels big and clumsy a little bit. Uh, he's very good for being a strong player like that. But uh, it's not quite my style to get a player like him. He kind of feels like, bulky and not really fun for me to use. But uh, Sergio Ramos, this is a guy I really wanted to bring into the club because, I don't know, I just really like him as a player and I think he's one of the best defenders in the game. So we do hands down offer him, or offer Real Madrid Courtois for um, Ramos and uh, yeah, hopefully they do accept that. But as we go into the future, we did actually sell one of our players. I think it was one of our youngsters that I didn't really care about. I just wanted to get a load of wages. Um, and then we go for Ozil as well. Pursuing a new attacking midfielder because I do play a formation with that and uh, Yeah, Milan trying to make a deal for Andre Schurla. I think I just uh, totally ignore that But uh, yeah, so then we continue to pursue Cristiano Ronaldo. It looks like that's kind of the guy We kind of lean towards trying to get toward the end here uh, Alaba actually accepts his contract for the or well, the, ex, well Bayern Munich ex actually accept the deal for him So we try and bring him in because, uh, yeah, like I said, I wanted to kind of boost my back line because I feel like defensively I'm a bit rusty. I'm not very good defensively. And then, look at that, Real Madrid actually except for Ramos for Courtois, like in a straight swap. We didn't have to add any money into that deal. We got rid of a player that was unhappy for probably one of the best defenders in the game. And I thought that was a wonderful deal, so I was going to try and sign him up as quick as I could. 
Uh, to Skate Wheel, another great player, a right back that I was looking to try and bring in. And uh, yeah, look at that, Real Madrid actually accept the deal for Ronaldo as well, so now we have to just agree with the contract. And then we get a massive player who can probably win games on his own for this team, so I was really excited about that. And uh, yeah, they wanted to buy Remy. I was trying to, you know, squeeze out as much money out of Remy as I could if I was going to try and sell him, so I actually, crazy amount. I didn't actually really want to sell Remy, I really liked the guy. And uh, yeah, so then look at that, Alaba signing for Chelsea right there. And what that was a great, uh, great moment there. So we got our first new signing. Cesc Fabregas to Juventus for 22 million. I put down 52 because again, I'm not really looking to drop Fabregas. He's one of my favorite players at Chelsea this season. And uh, yeah, I didn't really want to let him go. So then I added a little bit more to my wage budget because I was a little bit scared that I wasn't gonna have enough. And then Arsenal accept our deal for Mzito Zil. And so uh, yeah, they try and offer again Juventus to try and get Fabregas. I think I just rejected that. I didn't quite see. But then we try and wait while well, we offer Ozil a contract at Chelsea because the team has accepted the deal. And uh, hopefully he does accept that, but we're going to send a little bit into the future. Like Remy, they don't think he's worth that much, so they end the negotiations. And again, another rip-off deal for Andre Sherlo, who is arguably one of the best players last season, or the best. I think I actually really brought him in toward the end. Uh, Ronaldo accepting his contract as well as Sergio Ramos, so that's two more big signings to the club, and uh, yeah, that's to add to Alaba, transfer offer for, who was that, I believe it was Diego Costa, but we did accept the deal to send Costa to Real Madrid, back to Spain where he came from, and uh, yeah, Ozil signing for us as well, so that's four big signings in this transfer window, we do try and get to Skiglio here, and uh, another big signing that you know he's really good in this game to kick Leo so I was trying to I was kind of hoping to kind of get him in but um, yeah and then this guy Ramirez, is one of the players he's really good in FIFA but in real life I'm not again not a huge fan of him Lloyd Remy huge fan of this guy wasn't gonna let him go for cheap I'll say that much uh, Barcelona looking into trying to buy him Schalke as well trying to buy him and uh, yeah everybody wants Remy big player big goal scoring player uh, Jose Rene, this is a guy I was looking into trying to get as a backup goalie because I did drop Courtois so and now I just had just had Petr Cech because Schwarzer actually left on a free transfer. He just dropped the team. So, uh, yeah, so I was looking to bring in a backup goalie in case of um, a Keck injury, which we did have last season, so it could happen again. And, uh, yeah, so then we'd go for Jose Rene. It looks like about 11 million. Benoglio, another good option, but we do actually pursue to just go after Rene. I didn't, you know, I like Benoglio, but Rene is kind of a guy. He's been in the Premier League before. I thought that would be a good signing. <laughs> Again, Leverkusen trying to go after one of our players, this time in Remy. And uh, yeah, we offer that we make them have to give us a ridiculous amount. As we come up to our first preseason match, it's about to get pretty intense here. And there's uh, Ramirez. We actually try and milk out a little bit more cash out of Dortmund for Ramirez. Another really overpowered player in this game. And uh, yeah, they do not want to pay that much for Remy, which I, I guess I don't blame them in a way. But uh, yeah, he's a really good player. And, uh, yeah, I think he's really worth a lot of money. And yeah, we actually, I think we actually accept that deal for Ramirez. And uh, then we actually get a great deal here for Joseph Rene, 11 million rated, we get him for about 8.5, which is, I believe, 3.5 or 2, no, it's 9.5, 10.5, 11, so it's about 2.5 million less than what they wanted for him. We just absolutely wrecked Real Betas in a, in a friendly match. And then Hazard, I believe, was asking for more wages, which I do set up for him later in this episode. And uh, yeah, Nathaniel Ake, I'm not doing too many seasons in this career mode, so I decided that Ake can go if you like. And uh, there we go, Boga going out to a new team. And uh, so I actually struggled very miserably trying to sign Joseph Rene. And I don't know why, and it's because I was putting way too many years on his... Like, I, I was giving him two, more years than he wants it. I don't think he wants to play for too much longer, so I was putting way too many years on it. He wanted two, I was putting three, and he didn't like that. So yeah, as you guys can probably see, as later in this episode, we do actually struggle miserably trying to, um, trying to, uh, yeah, get him into the team. I think we actually sell Ramirez, which brings me to this, uh, conclusion that we needed a new center defensive mid. And, uh, yeah, so I decided to look into Juan Yama. But yeah, as you guys can see, we're just struggling miserably. He only wants, actually, it was only one year he wanted, and, uh, yeah, we were offering him three, and he wasn't into that. He didn't want that. Another 4-0 win. 
two in a row, and I'm feeling very, very confident. They want about 12 and a half million. I was offering really next to nothing for them, and I uh, actually go and try and get Van Ginkgo and 4.5 for them. And uh, yeah, so then we continue on, and then we have the massive game against Manchester City coming up. And uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, what do I do here? I don't even see again. I messed that up. I believe I actually signed him after the game against Manchester City, so we'll see about that. But I might get him. And uh, yeah, they don't want Van Ginkgo at uh, Southampton, so they wanted to keep their big boy one Yama. And to be honest, it's kind of a signing I don't need. So I did offer Nathaniel Ake anyway. Because I, I, at, the, at the time, I feel like I needed him, but I don't. And again, I just miserably struggle here to try and get Jose Rene into the team. And I'm just like, what the heck, man? Why is he not signing? So I try and do two years there. And uh, yes, yeah, so then it looks like Hummels is like, yeah, I want to play in this game. I want to play. I want to win this, this trophy for us, the Community Shield. And uh, yeah, we're getting really close to the end of this episode. But I'm, I think I actually try and form my first team here. And uh, yeah, what I do, it, yeah, this team is going to look amazing. Like, just look at this team. Already that back line, Alaba, Sergio Ramos, Hummels, and Philip Luiz as a right back. Uh, I decided to move Philip Luiz because I, I think Alaba is a little bit more important. And so, yeah, so then look at this team forming here. This is this is going to get pretty crazy. Ronaldo is in there. And uh, Hazard, Quadrado, uh, Kadira, who we actually got on a free transfer from last season. It's just... Uh, it's too nice. It's too good. So we actually have Madic and Kadira in this team. Ozil is our attacking mid. Quadrado, Hazard, and Ronaldo. Like, look at that team. That team is just crazy. But anyways, guys, I'm going to have to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. And peace. In the midfield, we're going to extra time here, guys. Diego Costa, I don't feel like I, I need to change him off. I'm making a change. I'm sorry, Diego Costa. You've done well, but I need... Andre Sherla for this. We need Andre Sherla. And I'm going to be, I'm making William. I'm bringing on William. I don't know if that's going to be a good decision or not. Some fresh legs, guys, in the FA Cup finals.